proclamation from Congressman David Joyce, and then certainly the beautiful plaque from the Chamber of Commerce. So Carol, congratulations. <laughs> by many that all history is local. The Cobbett Falls, Ohio Bicentennial History Book gives us a chance to tell our unique story about our part of the world and to provide an update from our 175th anniversary milestone when the last book of this type was published. If the Bicentennial Pictorial History Book has given longtime residents a chance to reminisce and newer residents the opportunity to learn more about our city. If it has given a friend or family member who is now far away a chance to feel reconnected with our city, and if it has inspired someone to become interested in local history, and if those who are local history buffs enjoy it and even learn something new, if it helps someone relive the excitement of our momentous bicentennial celebration, if it helps someone conduct their genealogy research through the names index in the back of the book, if it helps someone, or excuse me, if it helps promote our city as a great place to live, to work, and to play, and if it instills an added sense of pride in our community, looking back at all that has been accomplished over the past two centuries, then the Cabo Falls, Ohio Bicentennial History Book Committee has realized its objectives. I would like to take this opportunity to offer some thanks. First, I would like to acknowledge my family, my husband Tony, and our children, Max is here, and there's my husband, um, Maria and Mitch are preparing for the finals right now, but they couldn't join us. Thank you with all my heart for your support throughout the course of the Bicentennial History Book Project. I also owe a measurable debt of gratitude to my fellow book committee members, Aaron Shad, Marty Shoemaker, Pete Mellinger, Valerie Dapp, Mike Richard, Carrie Hummel Snyder, and Gerald Lewis. Cozy Richard was uh, not formally on our committee, but she was also a wonderful support for us. Our team was a little engine that could, driven by optimism and hard work, ultimately gaining our momentum until we got the job done. Thank you so much to the Bicentennial Book patrons and sponsors who helped make the publication of the Pictorial History Book possible. Their special stories are included in the book. We are particularly thankful to all of you who collaborated with us on this project from the city administration to the Cuyahoga Falls and Northampton Historical Society, the Cuyahoga Falls Library, our local schools, churches, community organizations and businesses, and current and former residents. The city's proceeds from the sale of the book will be used for continued improvement on the century-old Kaiser Barn on Bath Road. Since its rededication during our bicentennial, the barn has been hosting a free summer concert series. This year's concert series will begin on Sunday, June 8th. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, Mayor Walters, the Chamber, and also my fellow colleagues here from Western Reserve Hospital today. When was, I was reading over the criteria for this award and it said that it was someone who had outstanding contributions and achievements in business and community service. So I looked up in the dictionary and found out that achievement meant someone who did something through hard works or acts of heroism. I'm no hero, so I guess I work hard? No, no really Mark, I do, I do, not to worry. But it's truly a labor of love. I work for an organization that has vision, strives for excellence, and prides itself on achieving success. I'm able to bring my energy and ideas to work and to the community, and I receive unending support. 
Both the hospital and I understand that it's partnerships and people like you that make every endeavor worth doing. I'm surrounded daily by great coworkers, business colleagues, and friends. I must pause now and mention Pastor Jill Smith, or I will never live it down. <laughs> and they share in my desire to lead, to serve, and to give back. I am truly honored and humbled to have received this award and ask that each and every one of you share today in my excitement and enthusiasm. It's been an honor and a pleasure. Thank you. This Village Gardens Restaurant, if you'd like to please come up. venture 27 years ago and uh, here we are 27 years later and uh, I started with my wife and unfortunately as you heard uh, we lost her a year ago but I know she's uh, very proud as I am to accept this award and to keep the, the village gardens uh, growing along with my twin daughters and uh, to be active within our community and we have a fantastic city fantastic community uh, Chamber is doing such a fantastic job for all of us, and I'm so proud to be part of this community, part of the Chamber, and uh, hopefully with many years to come to be more active, and uh, like the mayor said, we've been very active with the free Thanksgiving dinner. This is going to be our seventh year coming, and uh, being active with many different organizations. So again, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you very much. Again, it is an honor for me to be here and present this to the best of the best, 2014. Thank you very much. <laughs> 